I am Anil Kumar and uh, this is the first of our practice question. For, for the given function, we need to find derivative at the given point. Now the first question in our list was f of x equals to x to the power of 4. We need to find derivative of this function at x equals to 1. Let us see how to do it. So we'll use the first principle and the very basic definition of derivative, which is f dash, um, so the definition is f dash x in general is equals to limit when h approaches 0 for the function x plus h minus f of x over h. Now when we are given a particular point, then the derivative at that point will be equals to limit h approaches 0 f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 over h right so that is how we need to solve such questions function given to us is x to the power of 4 so we can now write this as limit h approaches 0 function is x to the power of 4 so it be 1 plus h to the power of 4 minus x is 1 so 1 to the power of 4 over h now we need to expand this limit h approaches 0 now the whole idea is we have an exponent a binomial which is to the power of 4 and I'm sure many of you may not know how to expand this so simple way of doing it is using Pascal's triangle so here is your Pascal's triangle so let's make this one I hope you remember the steps and that should be a review for you right so what we do here is we just combine the previous two so when you combine the previous two uh, let me begin again so we start with one and then the ones are on the side and when you combine one and one you get two and then it's one one plus two is three and then here we get two plus one is three and uh, let me com make this kind of like this okay so we get the third row where we have these one three three one and now we need x to the power of four so we are interested in the fourth row that is the fourth row so combining previous two terms three plus one four three plus three six three plus one four and one so these are the binomial coefficients for our expansion of this right so we'll use uh, pascal's uh, triangle to expand so that is the way correct so 1 plus h to the power of 4 so 1 to the power of 4 which is 1 so I could write this as 1 plus 4 times 1 cube h so I'm writing 4 h plus 6 times 1 square h square so this power increases correct and then 4 times h cube and then 1 time h to the power of 4 so that is how you're going to expand this so for some of the students I like them to review this concept It's very important in the test the question could be x to the power of 5 so let me write down your test question so your test question is you need to find the derivative for the function f of x equals to x to the power of 5 okay and let the point be x equals to 2 okay so that is your test question let me continue with a much simpler question okay uh, right so so what we'll do is we'll see uh, what do we get here we get limit h approaches 0 1 and minus 1 cancels out you're left with 1 2 3 4 terms and h is common in all 4 so I'll take h common so we're left with 4 plus 6 h plus 4 h square plus h cube right divided by so at this stage we can always cancel out the h for th from the numerator and denominator once we do that we can substitute 0 for h right so if I substitute 0 for h what do I get so let me first write this as limit h approaches 0 and what we have is 4 plus 6 h plus 4 h square plus h cube great now if I substitute 0 I get term 4 right so that is my answer 4 correct so the limit of this function so let me write down here answer f dash uh, for this function at 1 is equals to 4 perfect 
So that is how we are going to solve it and this is the solution for the present question. As you know, your test question is right there. So your test question is you need to, that means you need to go one step further, then expand, simplify and get your answer but your x value is 2, not 1. So try it out on your own. Thank you and all the best.